Hello, I am Rachel Garbo Monroe, President and CEO of the Harry and Jeanette Weinberg Foundation. We hope that you and those close to your heart are well, despite everything that is happening around us. This year is unlike any other year for so many reasons. Even this brief video tells part of the story of 2020. Our lives in recent months, to a great extent, have been shared only through screens like this and email. In addition to the deadly pandemic, we have felt and seen division and anger as perhaps never before. As a nation, we are confronted by the harsh realities that have put a spotlight on racial injustice and inequities. Compounding these challenges, we have seen parts of our nation burn in devastating wildfires or overwhelmed by flooding from hurricanes and tropical storms. Again, we pray for respite in 2021 from this suffering and destruction. And yet through it all, we feel an enormous sense of gratitude, a renewed recognition and appreciation for all of the ways we feel blessed. We also have a growing sense of hope that we will emerge from these challenges better and stronger as both neighbors and a nation. Today, we had looked forward to joining many of you, including the Foundation's partners, colleagues, and friends to celebrate our 30th anniversary with a very special community gathering in Baltimore. Instead, the continued threat of COVID forced the rescheduling of this gathering to next year, November 17th, 2021. The primary purpose of the Foundation's biennial community gathering, which has included more than 1,000 community leaders in recent years, as well as gatherings in Hawaii and Israel, is to say thank you. And this year is one in which gratitude is especially important, even if we must express it by video. So thank you. Mahalo in Hawaiian, or Toda Raba in Hebrew, for working with all of us at the Weinberg Foundation. Thank you for all you do to make your community stronger and better for every individual and every family. And thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I will be back, but first, please welcome Weinberg Foundation Trustee and Chair, Ambassador Faye hartuck Leffen. Thank you, Rachel. I'm privileged to speak to you today on behalf of my fellow Weinberg trustees representing each of the foundation's priority communities. Our priority communities represent ties to the life and legacy of Harry Weinberg, as well as communities where trustees reside and provide leadership. I'm pleased to serve with my fellow trustees who are Robert T. Kelly Jr. in Northeastern Pennsylvania, Paula B. Pretlow in the San Francisco Bay Area, Gordon Berlin in New York, and Nimrod Gur in Israel. I have the honor of representing Chicago. The news has been difficult on every front, and the foundation, only with the support of our grantees and partners and the hard work of our employees, has worked to respond meaningfully and decisively. The toll of the COVID-19 health crisis continues to grow, as well as the disruption to lives on many levels. The pandemic has disproportionately impacted particular populations within our communities, including those who are experiencing homelessness, low-income workers, those who are unemployed, and older adults. These populations represent the heart of the Foundation's mission and work every day. As much as ever, the Foundation's emergency response to COVID-19 to support our nonprofit partners is focused on meeting the basic human needs of people experiencing poverty, which becomes even more critical during this unprecedented time in our world. In 2020, the foundation committed a total of $10.5 million in emergency funding to active foundation grantees within the foundation's priority communities. And in addition, the foundation has accelerated more than $3 million in grants to existing grantees, both in the United States and Israel. Our nation is also struggling to reconcile and heal the racial injustice so vividly and painfully symbolized by the multiple violent deaths of black men and women. This injustice demands accountability and action. The foundation believes that black lives matter and we support efforts to actively and tangibly pursue racial equity and healing to achieve meaningful and transformational change. The foundation will continue to partner with effective community-based organizations, seeking out those that are led by people of color to advance the work the foundation funds in housing, health, jobs, and education. 
we will continue to require grantees and partners to demonstrate how they are making a commitment to advancing racial equity in their work to make our grants more appropriate and effective. And for ourselves, we will continue to foster internal reflection, education and growth with the goal of helping each Weinberg Foundation employee to be a racial equity ally. We invite you to visit our website to read our statement regarding this critical moment for society, as well as to learn more about the Foundation's COVID emergency response. Thank you. Aloha to all of you. In Hawaii, the economic impacts of COVID-19 have deepened the inequities experienced by our most vulnerable community members, whom the Weinberg Foundation serves. At the same time, the crisis has highlighted the resilience of our island communities. Businesses have also been severely impacted, including many of the Foundation's real estate tenants. The Foundation owns and manages over a billion dollars of real estate throughout Hawaii. These properties, as part of the Foundation's overall investment portfolio, provide revenue that makes possible the Foundation's grant making, serving Hawaii and beyond. We also want to say mahalo to all of our tenants and partners for working together through this crisis. We're honored to witness and support the collaboration occurring in our community. And we're encouraged to see that the community-based organizations serving our state's most vulnerable residents are providing us all with models and inspiration for strengthening Hawaii. We know the challenges we face are far from over, but we find strength in our ability to work together, support each other, and stand by one another. Mahalo Nui for your continued partnership and your dedication to helping all of us in Hawaii move toward a brighter future. The foundation realizes that even with emergency funding, many communities, partners, and grantees have experienced deep pain, and some are struggling just to survive. And yet, at the same time, we are hearing extraordinary stories of resilience and optimism. Time does not permit us to share all of the good stories within this video, but please enjoy a few more reasons for gratitude and hope. I'm an upcoming sophomore at Whitney Young and I'm a part of the Peacemakers Project Hood 2 program. As Peacemakers, our theme is doing something good in the hood. For our final project, we are giving away 50 bags to two wonderful organizations. Through Project 2, I'm given the opportunity to give back to the people who gave to me. As a team, we hope this project leaves a legacy that can be continued in the future. This has been an incredible challenge, an incredible journey. I learned so many things about myself that I didn't know I had within me. Thank you, Made of New York. Thank you, BWI. You guys have been a, a, a freaking backbone. Like, I never had this support ever in my life. So, uh, thank you, Cycle 60. A lot of strength I haven't seen myself, and you guys just made me see those things. And I'm really grateful for that. Hi, this is Lauren Shavitz from HANA. While our clients are truly suffering during this time, there is also some beauty. One client in particular comes to mind. For the first time in 40 years, she has the freedom to make her own decisions and for the very first time is singing in her kitchen as she prepares her meals, is able to communicate with her friends whenever she chooses, and for the first time in her life has registered to vote. She can do all of this without fear of violent consequences. These are the stories that give us hope.
Early on, we made a commitment that no family would go hungry at Compass. As I'm sure you know, in COVID times, everything is more difficult. Renting vehicles to transport food, deploying staff several times a week to the food bank and to local supermarkets. Change has pretty much been the only constant. Change and putting families first. Clients need us, and they need us more um, than they ever have before. Welcome to ACH. We've been opening every day, all day. <laughs> Putting safety first. Continuing care and offering COVID testing. And finding bright spots along the way. We are many islanders from one ocean. Even though coronavirus has changed our way of life, we will survive and thrive by taking care of each other. We rise to keep our community safe. It's our turn. Yay, our fanson. Wo oy letato taimi. Tayo naman ang kakalinga. Kokako manawa. It's our turn to take care of our elders like they took care of us. It's our turn. To protect the storytellers. To protect our culture. And to protect our community. You know, this year has been a challenge for us all, uh, but in the midst of those challenges, we've seen some pretty amazing things happening too. We were able to launch a Care Calls program this year, which connected volunteers to isolated seniors in our neighborhoods. These volunteers made over 700 calls over the course of the last couple of months uh, just to check in on the seniors in our neighborhoods, make sure they had everything they need, and, and that they were still engaged in the community. The city of Lod and this family here, okay, the roof was all crumbling and broken and the ceiling was all wet and every winter they had water leaking onto their bedroom and on our bed. In addition to again saying thank you, mahalo, and todarabad to the Foundation's dedicated grantees and partners, I wish to also express my deep personal gratitude to the Foundation's trustees and employees. It is a privilege for me to work with this team. I am a better professional in person because I am surrounded by a board and staff who are truly dedicated to the Weinberg Foundation's mission above all else. We are one foundation with two locations in Maryland and Hawaii and a staff that has grown to 56 strong. That staff size is comparatively small for a foundation that will distribute $130 million in grants in just 2020 all of which is made possible by roughly $3 billion in assets carefully managed by the foundation. But numbers do not make the Weinberg Foundation what it is today. Any measure of success that we celebrate is all about the talented colleagues who make all of this possible. I am proud of the work the Weinberg Foundation executes at each year, but I am even prouder to be among these colleagues you are about to see. Thank you to all of our grantees for continuing to provide services at this time, despite facing so many challenges of your own. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Mahalo from all of us in Hawaii. Mahalo. 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 Special thanks to our grantees and partners serving the Jewish community in the U.S. and in Israel. לעבודה חדשה וקריטי שלכם בזמנים קשים ורוצים להגיד אנחנו עומדים איתכם, אנחנו איתכם, אנחנו רוצים להגיד תודה רבה וגם כן זה יעבור. 
הזורמים בשנה הבאה בירושלים, ותודה. From our family to yours. Thank you. Thank you. We hope that you invest in what's really important to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It all adds up to one bottom line. Thank, Thank you. you. Wishing you and those you love peace, health, and joy. Thank, Thank you. you. In this moment, more than anything else, I believe that hope will unite us and move us forward. Even if it is hard to find, and perhaps even harder to hold on to, we must join together to make our communities better and stronger. We are confronted by so many challenges resulting from sickness, both of the body and of the heart. Many of our neighbors are hurting in ways that we could not have imagined or we did not fully appreciate. At times, the darkness can seem overwhelming. But as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. expressed, only in the darkness can you see the stars. We pray that 2021 is brighter for all of us and filled with stars. Thank you for all you do to practice justice and mercy and acts of loving kindness. As part of this year's planned community gathering, we looked forward to performances by the world famous Morgan State University Choir. One of the songs that they had intended to sing in person now seems even more appropriate. I cannot think of a more fitting message to leave you with. Please enjoy Morgan State Choir's performance of We Are All in the Same Boat. Blessings to each of you and your families, and please stay healthy. Be a lot more loving, loving. and sharing.